Hello my friends, Gabriel here back with another video and today I'm gonna show you how to downgrade your Samsung device any Samsung device, any Galaxy series device from Lollipop 5.0 to Android KitKat 4.4.2 If you've seen my uh, last videos, you've seen uh, my complaints about uh, Lollipop and uh, the latest update from uh, Google you know how dissatisfied I am, how uh, bad this update is for my Galaxy Note 3. So uh, today I'm gonna show you the easiest uh, method to to downgrade your device and to let's say uh, escape any problems and uh, any issues that you already have uh, after upgrading to to Lollipop. As I said, I'm using the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and before we start, there are a couple of things you need to do. The first one is uh, that you need to go to settings. Go to general, developer options and enable USB debugging. This is a must have. Also, still in uh, settings in general, scroll down to security. And in security, tick this box where it says unknown sources. After you did this, go to storage and delete any catches that are on, uh, on your device. And after you did this, go to your PC. In this case, I'm using my uh, Windows tablet. This is the Asus Transformer book. I've already made some videos on my channel about this tablet. And you need to download a couple of things. Uh, mainly, you need to download KeyS in order to have uh, your drivers for your device installed on the PC or your laptop. Second, you need to download Odin, which is uh, the tool that we're going to use to perform this downgrade just type in google search odin and uh, you're gonna find it uh, in the results and also you need to go to this page open your browser and go to sam mobile as you can see if you don't have an account you have to to create an account it's very simple it takes about two minutes then go to firmware and in firmware you're gonna type the model number your device name and it will uh, provide you with the firmware available for uh, for the device as you can see mine is the international note 3 the 4g model and uh, as you can see these are the available firmwares for my device from here pick one in our case because we are downgraded we're gonna pick the 4.4.2 click on it let me choose one so I can show you as I live in Romania I'm gonna pick this one and as you can see you have two choices regular download or fast download. Fast download is for, um, let's say, um, premium members on uh, same uh, mobile. With uh, regular download, it's gonna uh, it's gonna take a while until your file is uh, downloaded. The file is approximately 1.2 gigabytes large, so you have to be patient. After you did this, one more thing, and uh, you're good to go. In uh, downgraded your uh, downgrading your Samsung device it's uh, the fact that you need to turn off the firewall on your laptop or on uh, your PC because it may uh, consider that Odin is a threat and it will not allow you to to do anything uh, to your device so let me quick uh, turn it off 
you can turn it on back after you're finished with the downgrade process so uh, no big deal as you can see it's turned off okay as you can see I already unzipped the file the firmware file it comes in a zip file you need to unzip it uh, you can put it wherever you want I uh, simply put it on my desktop so let's go to Odin run as administrator yes so uh, I'm gonna connect my uh, USB cable to my tablet or better say uh, my uh, hybrid device and uh, I'm gonna plug in my uh, Samsung Note 3 as you can see the device was added so now simply disconnect your device turn the device off And uh, when it's completely off, press volume down, home and power button to enter uh, recovery mode. To continue, you need to press volume up. Okay, so as you can see, we are in download mode. I'm going to connect my device again. And as you can see the device uh, has been uh, recognized by the program now you need to go to this box AP search for uh, for the firmware and as mine is on the desktop this is the file I'm gonna choose this And as always, it takes uh, takes a while until uh, Odin, as you can see, it says not responding, but uh, it will respond. It's not a problem, but it takes a while until it um, recognizes the the file and uh, so on. The main reason for which I'm uh, downgrading my Note 3 is because um, I have a lot of issues after uh, updating to Lollipop 5.0. If you've seen my previous videos, if you've seen my review of uh, Android 5 running on the Note 3, you've uh, seen already that I have a lot of uh, complaints to do with uh, the lag, with uh, the responsiveness, with um, the apps opening very slow, with the very very slow uh, animations and um, the worst part for me after updating was uh, battery life. If you go here to options, please, and I repeat this, don't tick any box. Leave it as it is, make sure repartition is not ticked, but it's better that you, you stay out of, uh, of this uh, options menu. So we're good to go, let's go and click uh, start and as you can see Odin has started uh, writing the new firmware downgrading uh, my Note 3 from uh, let me let me say it as uh, blunt as possible the shittiest update that I ever seen ever got ever installed on any Android device I thought that uh, KitKat 4.4.4 was uh, abysmal on um, Android devices as it uh, gave me only problems and uh, issues especially on my Sony devices but uh, after seeing Lollipop 5 uh, <laughs> I, I really considered that uh, KitKat was, uh, was a blessing. The process takes a while, a couple of minutes, about five minutes. Um, remember, as I always say in um, these tutorial videos that I do, always let the device finish the first boot. It may take a while at first boot, uh, I don't know, five minutes, maybe ten minutes, depends on the device. 
depends on the hardware but uh, don't touch it don't remove the battery don't uh, don't do anything stupid pretty much or else you you risk uh, ending up with a brick device and uh, it's your money and also after the first boot and uh, let's say uh, when you can start uh, using your device normally do one simple thing that uh, really helps you in having the best experience on your device just do a factory reset trust me it really helps trust me it's really useful I keep repeating this uh, in every video that I make just do a basic factory reset or a hard reset or uh, whatever you you call it it really really helps also take notice the first days after a big uh, update or a downgrade in our case it takes a while for the battery to calibrate it takes a while for the battery to to give you the best uh, battery life possible so be patient for about uh, four to five uh, charging discharging cycles uh, simply charge your device fully and then uh, use it until it completely drains uh, the battery then put it again to, to charging and so on for about uh, four to five times trust me it really helps uh, if you don't believe me just do it yourself and uh, you're gonna see what I'm talking about so as you can see it takes a while as I said it takes about five um, five minutes uh, maybe ten depends depends on the file depends on the device especially but uh, whatever you do don't disconnect uh, don't disconnect the the device from from the pc one more important thing when uh, performing uh, this type of operations downgrading or uh, updating is uh, have a fully charged battery in your device i know there are a lot of tutorials and a lot of reviewers out there on the youtube that say that you need uh, to be at least uh, 50 percent or 60 or 70 trust me 100 percent battery charge is the best it helps you in the process and it also helps you in uh, having a better battery life afterwards these are things that i discovered in uh, years of pain of downgrading updating routing uh, installing custom uh, custom ROMs, custom kernels and so on fiddling with uh, a lot of settings uh, i bricked a lot of devices you can see it also on my uh, on my channel but uh, trust me i talk from experience and uh, i'm just uh, just trying to to help you to get the best results out of your device to provide you with the best um, satisfaction that you could uh, get uh, from your device, from your money. The same way that uh, we are using Odin right now to downgrade to KitKat, you can also um, use to upgrade if you want to a newer version to lollipop or uh, if there is going to be a new version well, I don't know let's say uh, Android 5.1 but uh, mainly I use Odin only to downgrade it's pretty much the same as a flash tool for uh, Xperia devices I've already made a couple of videos for Xperia devices on uh, how to downgrade or upgrade so uh, check it on my channel you're gonna find them if you are interested in uh, seeing how uh, to work with uh, flash tool also pretty much uh, the same principle but uh, in my honest opinion with uh, with flash tool things uh, are a lot faster than with uh, Odin and also with Odin it happened to me a couple of times in the past to, to have some issues so uh, that's why I don't uh, I don't really like to, to fiddle a lot with uh, my Samsung devices so we are almost close as you can see
if you want to see how Lollipop is running on um, the Note 3 in this case check out my videos on my channel also if you want to see the Galaxy S5 running on uh, Lollipop you can check out uh, my channel I have a lot of videos with uh, these devices but also with, uh, with other devices ok almost there and as you can see when it's finished and everything is ok it says right here in green pass so uh, this means we are uh, we are good the first time I downgraded my Note 3 I was running uh, Vodafone uh, firmware and I had some issues after uh, downgrading to downgrading to 4.4.2 the device would stop at uh, the startup logo this one right here and actually I had to turn off the device and go to the system recovery and perform a hard reset and only afterwards the, the device uh, became uh, usable again hopefully this time is not the case but uh, just in case this happens to you and it shows here that you you passed uh, just remember go into the into the recovery that is uh, volume up home button and uh, power on hold it until you get into the recovery go to factory reset or uh, hard reset and uh, perform it also wipe cache and then uh, just reboot the device and you're good to go I'm just hoping it's not the case right now <laughs> because this video is already too long but if it is I'm gonna show you so uh, don't worry about it So we are back guys, sorry I had to pause the video as it took uh, too long Unfortunately it happened again to me And uh, basically I'm controlling my camera with my smartphone and I forgot it So now I'm controlling my camera with uh, my other tablet with uh, the iPad mini 2 But uh, as you can see right now I'm on uh, KitKat 4.4.2 I've already made the first install uh, my up, my um, applications are updating in the background let me go to settings and as you can see this is uh, KitKat let's go to about device and you can see here 4.4.2 KitKat so basically if it happens to you also to get stuck in the boot animation just do what I uh, told you earlier uh, power on home button and volume up go straight to the recovery and there just select uh, to do a factory reset and also to wipe cache and then reboot and uh, as you can see the device is working it's perfect I have no issues my, uh, my applications are updating uh, from the Play Store And as you can see, the freaking annoying lag that uh, we were having on Lollipop 5, it's already dimmed down. It's a lot, uh, it's a lot better to use the, the Note 3, at least in my case. And uh, honestly, I really, I really hate what Google is doing with their updates. The device ran perfectly and had good battery life on KitKat. I updated it to Lollipop and um, all hell broke loose. So, if you are unsatisfied with Lollipop on your uh, Galaxy Note 3, on your uh, Samsung Galaxy S5, or uh, any other device from uh, the Samsung uh, Galaxy lineup that uh, already got the update to Lollipop, this is uh, how you can. Uh, 
revert back to 4.4.2 or even previous build if you find the, the firmware files. I'm Gabriel, as always, hit the like button if you like the, uh, the video, uh, comment in the comment section and also please share this video for others to see. It helps them, it also helps me to, to keep uh, doing this, uh, this video.